So hi guys and welcome back to the Bitcoin Day Trader channel. Today I'm going to teach you guys how to get your private keys from the Bitcoin Core wallet. I've had some questions of some of the viewers uh, if I could help you guys out getting your private keys from the Bitcoin Core wallet. It's not going to be a long tutorial because it's not that hard. Let's open the Bitcoin Core wallet first. What we need to get our private keys is to know of course the password of our wallet. If you have a password on your wallet, it's always advised to have a password. Uh, it's all in Dutch. I hate it that everything is in Dutch because I want it in English. American English? Yeah, that's right. We're Americans! Let's go back to Bitcoin Core 64-bit. I've installed this Bitcoin Core wallet just for the sake of this tutorial and I'm gonna use it to teach you guys how to get your private keys. Private keys are the most important parts of your wallet because the private keys is the access to your wallet. It's literally the key to open your wallet and to spend the money. So never share your private keys with anybody. So we're in our wallet. My wallet is not yet synchronized because I've just downloaded it. I've put on a password for the sake of this tutorial. As you see, change your passphrase is on. I have already encrypted the wallet. So what we need to do is get to the Bitcoin Core wallet and in the top of the screen go to help, to the debug window and we got to go to our console. This is an important part. The console is the place where you can give arguments or you can tell the wallet to do some actions. Don't just fill in anything here that you read on the internet. Be sure to do save commands because I think that they're warning us here. Yeah, warning. Scammers have been active. Telling users to type commands here, stealing their wallet content. Do not use this console without fully understanding the ramification of a command. You can write a command to send your funds to another wallet in here. So don't just write down anything you read on the internet. What we're going to do now is we are going to open the wallet. Then we can get our private keys. So within this console, you have to type wallet passphrase and as you see as you write down wallet it's already here passphrase so write down wallet passphrase space here you put the password of the wallet and my password is Bitcoin day trader press space you need to write a number and the number is the amount of seconds that you want the wallet to be open and for the sake of this tutorial we're gonna do yeah let's do 20 minutes whatever 1200 seconds if you wrote it down the right way, you would get a null response. That means it went good if it says null. We want to know our private keys. First, we need to know which address do we need the private keys from. So what I do is I can go to transactions, hide this screen, but I haven't had transactions because this one is empty. We're gonna use a uh, receiving address because let's just say that that is the address that we need because as you see, I haven't transferred any money on this wallet. It is an empty wallet, but just for the sake of the tutorial, I'm gonna go to receive and request a payment that would give me a wallet address as you see here this would be a wallet address that I would use so we need this address here and we want the private key of this address if you have different addresses just choose the address that you need so what we need to write down here is we want this program to dump our private keys and oh, it's already here dump priv keys so dump means show us and priv keys are the private key and then we want the private keys of this wallet you see it's the same wallet once we press enter it's gonna give us our private key of this wallet so this is the private key here be sure to never share this code with anybody. It's never smart to have it on your computer. It's never smart to save it in a text file because it can be read by malware. Yeah, yeah, I think it's called malware. Uh, viruses and stuff on your computer. So always act as if this is jewelry. So save it in a safe place. The best thing that you can do that I can advise you is write it down on a piece of paper and put it in a safe, a safe lock at the bank or a safe place somewhere else. But this is the most important part and you should never lose your private keys. You should always have your private keys in a super, super safe place. It's the key to your wallet. If you want to do this with other addresses, you just have to try it out on other addresses that you own. I, I pressed it again, a receiving address and it made a second receiving address. And as you see, it's a different wallet. It's not. 17x it is one fucky one fake one fake one and as you see it's a different private key that is a way to get your private keys from the bitcoin core wallet it was a short tutorial but some of you guys needed this information so i hope you guys learned something new today about the bitcoin core wallet if this tutorial was any helpful be sure to drop a like to let me know and if you're new to my channel it would be cool if you would subscribe i make these videos every once in a while so yeah you'll be updated on the fact that I made a new video. So yeah, as always, thank you guys for watching and see you guys next time. Whee! That was a short one, very, very short one. 
short, 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 I look ridiculous when I'm doing stuff like that. Today I'm gonna record a couple of tutorials based on questions that I got from you guys. So yeah, stay tuned for more!